Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a stored function in the MySQL database. Let's start by looking at the entity relationship diagram. I have seven tables in my database right now, but in this tutorial, we'll mostly be working on the property table. Let's run a select query where we select the property name, county, size in acres, and cost basis from the property table for five records. The cost basis column tells us how much total we paid for the property. But say you wanted to calculate the cost basis price per acre. To do that, we're going to use a stored function. Create a SQL file and start with setting the delimiter to dollar dollar. This will prevent us from interfering with semicolon, which is used as a delimiter for regular SQL statements. Next, use the create function function name syntax followed by the parameters in parentheses. The first parameter will be the cost basis and the second parameter will be the size in acres. Returns keyword specifies the data type of what this function will return followed by the characteristic of this function. Deterministic means that this function will always return the same result given the same input parameters. The meat of the function is defined between the begin and the end markers. Use the declare keyword to declare a variable followed by the data type. Set keyword is used to set a value to the variable. Here we're calculating the price by dividing cost spaces by the size in acres. Next, we're specifying that this function will return the value of price followed by the end keyword specifying the end of the function and we're resetting the delimiter back to semicolon. Now I'll use the MySQL alias where I'm passing the authentication details using a config file. Let's input the create function SQL file to the MySQL alias. Use the show function status command to verify the status of the function. And to check the definition of the function, use the show create function function name syntax. To call this function, we have to use it within the select statement. Here I'm reusing the select statement we looked at earlier, and I'm going to append the name of the function at the end of the select column name part. As you may recall, the first parameter is the cost basis and the second parameter is the size in acres. I also use the as keyword to rename the column name to cost basis per acre. To verify if the cost basis was calculated correctly, multiply the output with size in acres to see if you get the cost basis back. Finally, if you wanted to delete the function, use the drop function function name syntax. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.